Welcome to this BGraphy tutorial, where we'll be experiencing the power of computational design on the cloud while creating a unique parametric pipe tree structure. The video demonstrates how to define three frames that form the base, middle, and top parts of a pipe tree. These frames are divided into points, rearranged, and connected by pipe arches to create a branching structure. Start by adding a circle node to the canvas, which lets you create circles with specific origins and radii. Now, let's connect our bottom radius node to the radius input of our first circle node. Duplicate the circle node. Create a range input node and name top radius. And connect the top radius node to its radius input of our second circle node. With our circles ready, Let's bring in a construct point node. This node will help us place the top circle at a specific height. Connect the height node to the Z input of the construct point node. Now, connect this node's output to the origin input of the second circle node, the one connected to the top radius. To make our tree, we'll create another circle node to represent the middle section. We'll define its radius based on the middle radius range input node similar to how we did for the bottom and top circles. We want to position this middle circle halfway between the bottom and top circles. To do this, let's use a multiplication node and a range input to fine-tune the vertical position. Connect the multiplication node's output to the Z input of a construct point node, then link it to the middle circle's origin. Great, now we have our three circles defining the main structure of our pipe tree. Let's use the divide by count node to split each circle into points. We'll create a range input node named count to control the number of points. Connect the count node to all three divide by count nodes. See how points appear along each circle, ready for us to build connecting arcs. Let's use a couple of list order changing nodes to reorder our points and create that interesting woven effect. Create a number const node with a value of 2 and connect it to the factor input of the first list order changing node. Set the factor of the second list order changing node to 1. To create the arcs, we'll utilize the arc3pnt node. Now let's grab the arc3pnt node and connect the outputs of our list order changing nodes. See how the arcs beautifully connect the points on our circles. We are starting to see our pipe tree take shape. To create the actual pipes, we'll use the mirror node. This will mirror our arcs across the XY plane, giving us a symmetrical structure. Next, bring in a pipe node and connect the output of the mirror and arc 3PNT nodes to the base curve input. Hide extra geometries by right-clicking the nodes and selecting Hide. To finish things off, let's add a Apply Material node to give it a nice visual style. You can now play with the material settings like color, roughness, metallicity, and opacity. Happy designing, and we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. See you in the next tutorial.